guys, welcome back to the Magnet Minute brought to you by Magnet Labs. My name is Amy and I'm your host. You might remember a video from a couple weeks back where we talked about the different properties that you can have on Facebook. Well, today I wanted to talk about a couple terms that you should know about, not so much in the social media world, but still extremely important for your web presence. Because you never know when one of these sites is going to be the next MySpace, or is that coming back? The first is the most obvious, and that is a website. This is an online property that you would own for your business with a custom URL and proper hosting. Ultimately, it's the digital home base for your business where people can find basic information about what you do and links to other properties where they might want to follow you on. Next thing I want to talk about is a micro site. It's exactly how it sounds, sort of a subsite of your bigger website. It's limited to just a couple of pages and is meant to just support a specific campaign within your business. Micro sites are nice for measurement of engagement, but a lot of times they're sort of just this extra thing when you could have just done it on a social media site where engagement seems to be be a little bit more organic, so something to keep in mind. Next, of course, is the blog. It consists of reverse chronological entries that help you refresh your website so you have better search engine optimization and traffic. The fresher the content, the more attention you get. So we said websites and microsites, and we said blogs, so the next natural step would be to go microblog, right? Microblogging tends to get into the social space a lot more than the rest of these properties. You're familiar with Twitter, which only limits you to 140 characters per update. That's considered a micro blog. And the website Tumblr, which is a social media site and a blogging site, is also considered a micro blogging platform because of how short the entries tend to be there. Tumblr has made such an impact in terms of micro blogging that they actually have regular blogs that will have a Tumblr type system on the back end. So you can still have something really similar to Tumblr, but it's on your website and you're getting the traffic direct to your URL. That's all for today. I would love it if you would continue the conversation on Twitter at Schmatastic and at Magnet Media Inc. And of course, we will be talking in the comment section below. For those of you interested in video editing, you should definitely check out the video I posted last week about the YouTube video editor. Good stuff. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that I will see you next time on the Magnet Minute. For more great tips and resources, make sure you sign up for the Magnet Media Resource Center and newsletter at magnetmediafilms.com slash subscribe.